Greetings and welcome to another video of the Willow Creek Railroad. In this video, I'll introduce you to the latest addition to the Willow Creek's roster of locomotives, a vintage box cab diesel engine. The engine is lettered for the Naugatuck River Navigation Company, which operates out of Bucky's Crossing on the layout. With the exception of a few commercial parts, this box cab is a scratch-built model. The purpose of this video is not to provide a how-to for scratch building a locomotive, but rather to give you a brief introduction to some of the primary components of this model. Hopefully this information will help if you're interested in building or modifying a locomotive. The model is based on the Alco GE Ingersoll Rand diesel electric box cab locomotives built in 1925. These locomotives were 60-ton, 300-horsepower units and were the first commercially successful diesel-electric locomotives produced. This HO scale model is 5 inches long and weighs approximately 6 ounces. It's capable of pulling 6 or 7 HO scale 40-foot freight cars on level track. The model was built using styrene material and various types of wire. The model is powered by a Northwest Shortline Stanton Drive, a self-contained power truck that is DCC ready. The rear truck on the model is a dummy Stanton Drive power unit, which provides power pickup from the track but has no motor. These units were purchased directly from Northwest Shortline. One quick note about the Stanton Drive. I've read comments on the internet about problems with the drive's standard gearing when pulling loads and suggestions that one should purchase the optional metal gearing instead. I contacted the vendor about this and they said there is no basis for the concern. The standard gears provided in the power truck are more than sufficient for operations. The box cab model is designed for digital command control operation. It is equipped with a Loke Sound Select Micro DCC Sound Decoder programmed with an Alco 244 sound profile. Based on vendor recommendations, I used a TDS supersonic mini speaker and enclosure. This surprisingly powerful little speaker measures only about three quarters of an inch by one half inch. All of these components were purchased directly from Tony's Train Exchange. This was my first experience with a Loke Sound Decoder and I've been very pleased with his performance. Engine startup and shutdown are triggered by the function 8 key. The default configuration values of the decoder allow it to rev up prior to actually moving, making for a very prototypical experience. Pressing the F7 key immediately puts you in a switching mode that causes the locomotive to run at about half speed, giving you more control. Other function keys activate lights and other sounds in the typical DCC fashion. The decoder also provides a number of configuration variables and instructions for fine-tuning the decoder to match the specific characteristics of the power truck. The front and rear headlights are Soundtrack Sunny White LEDs. I used a 1500 ohm 1 half watt resistor on each light. Given the brightness of the lights, I could have easily used a larger resistor. Crew figures in the cab are one of the engineer fireman sets available from Broadway Limited Imports. The model was painted with Vallejo Acrylic Model Air airbrush paints, applied using an Awada Neo airbrush and an Awada Silverjet compressor. The frame of the model is painted Steam Power Black, and the cab is painted a 50-50 mixture of Steam Power Black and Dark Green. That completes this introduction to the Willow Creek's new box cab diesel locomotive. I hope the information about this scratch-built model has been of benefit to you. And as always, thank you for your interest in the Willow Creek Railroad. <laughs>